Oil, oil, oil. And the strategy and tactics of the imperialist powers, the United States, followed by uh, uh, Britain and France, is to prop up dictators over there who keep their own population down. That has been the history in, in the Middle East. And it's a balancing act as, as things shift and change there. The population inside the, inside the Middle East is angry and bitter. Egypt, people live on a dollar a day in Egypt, and there's a million people live on the graves in, in Cairo. United States gives 40 million, 40 billion a year to Egypt. Where does that go? To those people? It goes to the army. And it goes to the army to stop those people from, from rebelling. That's this, what they do in the Middle East, and that's what they will always do. And that's why we're very, very principled about this, right? You make your own decisions. Now, involved in the Stop the War organizations, various political organizations who have different attitudes towards, towards uh, 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 Syria. I'm totally opposed to the Assad regime. They, 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 helped crush, they helped crush the Arab Spring that developed in Syria. They helped do that. Just like the United States helped crush it, Egypt and Saudi Arabia helped crush it th uh, throughout the area. That's what, that's what they've done. I support the revolutionary movement of the people everywhere to, to change and make a better life for themselves. And it's no accident that very people who voted for, the, voted for the war voted for austerity. They're linked together now. War and austerity go together. Freedom, peace, and, 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 a, and a better world for us also go together. And what we're seeing is people around the world, all around the world, are standing up and saying no to these wars. That's all you give us is war. 450,000 people died in the Second World War in this country. British people died in the Second World War. They have poppies, Memorial Days, and everything else like that. Uh, almost a million people died in the Iraq War. Is there anybody having, selling poppies for them? Is anybody having commemorative uh, 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 services for them? They're forgotten about. They can be pushed aside. We had the arguments, yeah, it's finished. We had the arguments at that meeting, at those meetings, because there was those people who supported the intervention of the U.S., in, in, in Iraq, and they were Iraqis, and we had to have the, the hard arguments. At the end of the day, we were proven right. Two million people were proven right. And if they had listened to us, there would be no ISIS today. The, uh, the impetus would have been for the revolutionary movement to grow throughout the, the Middle East. They've created ISIS. They only are against ISIS because it doesn't suit their interests. They could change just like that and support ISIS. You know, as far as I'm concerned, down with the Assad regime, down with the ISIS, uh, ISIS regimes, but we have to say no to our country, the imperialist country. Keep out of the other people's business and do something about the people here and stop bringing the cuts in and destroying this society right, that we've got.